What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. Okay, so, we did a little bug catching contest in our last episode, and, uh, yeah, we had a gut feeling and we won. Didn't doubt myself. Not really, I was, like, totally doubting myself. But, yes, we won! We caught ourselves a level 14 Scyther, and I, I do believe that even if we would have stuck with the Pinsir, I think we would we would have won because they were pretty much the same thing, like health-wise and everything. Holy crud! But anywho, in this episode right here, oh by the way, um, before we move any forward, I, in last episode I did ask you guys, do you want to see a switch? Do you want me to evolve this Scyther and put it on my team and? Do stuff with it. Because if that's the case, I might have to switch up the whole team. I don't even know. Anywho, we're going to be going back into the National Park, and we're just going to be dealing with regular stuff that you would see here in the National Park. Now, the only way you'll be able to find these rare Pokemon, such as Pinsir and Scyther, is during the National bu uh, National Park Bug Catching Contest. Right now, you're going to be only finding some regular Pokemon and some Pokemon trainers, and what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to grab some items, like this, Found ourselves a paralysis heal. Usually a good thing to actually have. And uh, there is a little secret item right here close by that we can actually use. And uh, believe it or not, will enable us to buy it every single time. Let's go back here and uh, look at this, guys. Guess what we found? The Ether. Found ourselves the TM28. A very good item. And that right there. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. TM28 happens to be Dig, a very good ground-type move. I'm pretty sure many of you guys would love to use it, and I do have an idea of who I'm going to use it with. And, uh, well, let's see, there's a quite a few other things you can actually find here in the National Park during regular hours, regular times, and all that stuff. I just need to get there. Uh, not right there. Okay, so we're looking like fools going to the backside right here. It is time for us to start battling. As many of you guys can see, we still haven't battled the third gym leader of the Johto region because, well, we're just trying to power up our Pokemon right here, yeah. We did a lot of work, guys. Lots and lots of work. And who is this guy? I'm printing out my Pokedex. You can also print out stuff like uh, mail or in your PC boxes. True, this is very true, and printers were allowed, like the Nintendo printer. This is mail I got from my daughter. It cheers me up. It really does. Okay, so let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. We adore Pokemon, even if they would dislike us. That's what being a fan is all about. Okay, all right. Let's do this. All righty, so here we are taking on Pokemon fan or Pokefan William, and he is coming out with a Raichu. Oh my god. And, oh, crap baskets. Yeah, completely forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I completely forgot that Scyther messed my fluff hold up in order for it, like in order for me to capture that Pokemon. And well, here comes a uh, quick attack right here. And let's go with the Razor Leaf. Let's start battling. Let's start doing things. All right, here we go, Razor Leaf for the win. There you go, you chubby mouse Pokemon, and that almost defeats Raichu right there. And well, this Pokemon fan uh, definitely does adore his Pokemon. So let's go ahead and go for another. That is how you do it. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to Raichu. And look at that. Fluffle grows to level 19. Chico growing levels 2. There we go. My Pokemon! Yeah. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon because, uh, yeah, that's not a very good idea. Let's go with Togepi because we still need to... Uh, yeah, we still need to evolve it to Togetic or something. And, well, let's see. What else can we find? Oh, look at the trainer. The world of Pokemon is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know. Uh, but I know more than you do. Okay. Uh, okay, so you know more than I do. All right, let's see what happens right here. All right, so here we have Schoolboy Jack. Let's go ahead and school him. All righty, he comes out with an Oddish, and I am uh, with Togepi. And all right, let's gamble it away. Metronome. Come on! Aurora Beam! 
There we go! Finally a good move! And that actually gives Otis a, a little bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of some damage. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do right here with a swift attack. Okay, swift attack. Throwing out those ninja stars and Otis has been defeated. Togepi is kicking some butt. Yes, sir. And, well, Voltorb is coming out. Let's go right ahead and use Serpentera. It's been a while since I've seen Serpentera. Let's go, Serpentera. Yeah. Look at this one. It's just a tank. And because it's a tank, it got mud slap. Like a tank. Okay, so here we go, mud slap. Mud slap. Almost beats this guy. And, well, here's the mud slap again. So here comes the tackle attack. And that is not going to be effective. Man, I am glad I got Serpentera. And there you go. Say goodbye to Voltorb. More experience points for all of us. Look at that. Level 17. Damn. Okay. So, Schoolboy Jack. <laughs> what? Yeah, you don't know more than I do. Suck it. Uh, there's a lot to learn. For example, there are 50 kinds of TMs. Created a Pokemon level up faster. Your knowledge is impressive. I like that. Want to trade battle tips? I'll phone you even for some good info. Sure, let's go ahead and uh, register his number. The least I can do, right? Okay, so let's see. There's another trainer right here. Let's go right ahead and switch the Pokemon. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's get Togepi to level 20, and well, my Pokemon are simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my bar my darlings make me. <laughs> they make me super proud, right? Okay, so here we go, take it on, Pokefan Beverly, and she is coming out with her Snubble right here, Snubble, and, well, let's see what Togepi can do right here, so let's go, Sweet Kiss, and that Bite Attack is gonna, yeah, it really hits me, and it didn't affect Snubble, so that right there is gonna be bad, probably should have stocked up on a Fighting type Pokemon, so here we go, Metronome, and here comes a Dragon Breath, finally! Okay, so we're getting some good moves right here. Critical hits. And yes, you are paralyzed. Oh, Togepi, you are... Oh, crap, Baskets. Oh, I was about to say... It... I was about to say, it, like, it predicted us being uh, making it paralyzed or something. Alright, Swift Attack does the thing. Here comes the Tail Whip Attack. Not good enough, so here we go. Swift. Come on, Togepi. And nearly defeats the Snubble. Holy crud. Let's go one more time, Swift Attack. Swift Attack does the trick, and there you go. Togepi, kicking butt, taking names. Beverly is not liking it. I can beat you, uh, beat you in pride, but yeah, you can't beat us in pride. All right, and well, let's see. Look, check out my bag. I printed out my favorites from the Pokédex and stuck them in my bag. Okay, well, that's cool. All right. All right, let's move on right here. I think we didn't battle this. Oh crap, Ashley. Okay, so, oh, crap, Baskets, yeah, okay, she she saw us right with, uh, hello, why are you staring at me? No, you looked at me. Oh, battle. <sighs> oh, my God. These people these days. Okay, so here we go, take it on a uh, last Creasy, and she is coming in with her Oddish. Okay, so, let's go take a free. Uh, if you guys didn't, if you guys want to know the last Pokemon, or the Pokemon that attacked us. Wow, we are... <laughs> okay, so the Pokemon that attacked us was a Sun Kern. How ironic is it that we got, like, a Sunstone and we got a Sun Kern attacking us? Kind of ironic. Because, you know, Sun Kern evolves through a Sunstone. You know, that kind of stuff right there. So, here we go. Swift attack. And, and that doesn't defeat Otters. Okay, so come on. Don't be lame. Be lame, come on. Let's go swift attack right here. And that defeats Oddish. Okay. So Togepi is like actually finding its footing right here. And well, it's about to come out with a Q-Bone. Let's go with Lucky right here. It's been a while since I've seen Lucky. Alright, Lucky. Take care of Q-Bone. Alright, here comes Lucky. And Lucky. Let's go with a water gun right here. And oh crap, Baskets. Here comes a headbutt. That wasn't uh, as powerful as we thought. And this right here, Water Gun, does the trick. Here we go again. And 
bone club does not hit us. And there we go. Say goodbye to Cubo. Alrighty, alrighty, okay, and look at this. Level 18, so we're clearly, we're getting closer and closer to evolution. Hmm. That's right. You are intrigued. Okay. So, yes, the Pokemon that attacked us happens to be... Happens to be Sunkern. Let's go ahead and check this Pokemon out. As you can see, guys, Sunkern is a grass-type Pokemon. One of the weakest Pokemon out there. But this Pokemon looks very, very special because it has Mega Drain right here. And, yeah, it's a... Wow, it's a pretty special Pokemon. Whew. Don't tempt me. I'm just playing. I already got myself a grass type Pokemon. So, let's see. Is there any other trainers right here? I do not know. I think I've already beaten them all. Okay, so we have defeated every single trainer. Now, there is one little thing that you need to do right here. Talk to this lady. Pay attention, please. Oops. I have to quit thinking like uh, a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to get this. And here we have a Quick Claw. Okay, so the Quick Claw right here lets your Pokemon uh, hold the Quick Claw. Sometimes it will attack or strike first during battle. This is actually a very, very good item, especially with the kind of Pokemon I have. We're going to give this to Serpentera because out of everybody on our team, it is the slowest. And, uh, well, I guess that's pretty much it right there, guys. We won the Pokemon contest. Yeah, I think, I think we are uh, just about ready to go and battle some... Uh, Gym leaders right here. Yeah, I think we're very, very close. So in the next episode, guys, we're gonna be going into the next gym battle. Off screen, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be training my Pokemon just a tad bit. That way, you know, we're we're really prepared and all that crud. And uh yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you guys wanna make a small donation to this channel, links down in the description, heart button, you know, that kind of stuff. And if you guys want to catch some members only kind of content like Pokemon Silver Walkthrough, yes, click on that membership button and you can join. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Whitney, the Golden Rod City Gym Leader. Yes, see you guys.